If you listen to episode 82 of Koobana, then you will have already heard the stories I'm going to be talking about for this week's mystery. In that episode, I featured two Nichan classics from back in the early 2000s, called School Bus and Gentlemen on the School Bus. These two stories have become classics over the years, with the latter providing some interesting context to the first almost two years later. If you haven't listened to those stories yet, I'll leave a link in the comments and you can feel free to go and do that first, as neither story is terribly long. To sum the stories up very quickly, School Bus was posted on February 28th, 2001, and is a quick, almost incomprehensible tale about a young man heading to school on the bus, only to realise that things are not quite right and everybody else is dead. This particular story stood out when it was posted because of the way it's written. It's confusing, often doesn't make sense, and jumps all over the place like a strange fever dream. People liked it because they couldn't understand it, and that made it even creepier to them. Gentleman on the school bus was posted two years later, in 2003, and this time, the Nichan user claimed to have a friend who had a weird experience on the bus to school a few years back. This story reads much more normally, and talks about an elderly gentleman on the bus and an old lady he gets into a fight with, before the friend on the bus is found unconscious on the side of the road by a passerby and taken to hospital. It would seem that the bus crashed after entering a dark tunnel, and although his friend tries to tell people about what happened, there's no evidence of this bus even existing, let alone crashing, and through his own research, he can't find anyone else who was on the bus either. This follow-up story never once makes any mention of the original school bus story, nor makes any claims of being a sequel. The poster does mention that his friend told him he even went online to try and find out the truth behind the bus, but nobody would give him the time of day. It didn't take long for other Nichan users to realise he was probably talking about the incoherent school bus post from two years earlier, and a legend was born. The thing with Nichan, however, is that it's anonymous. You can never tell if someone is telling the truth, and the Nichan boards are a great place for people to post their clearly made up stories and try to pass them off as real. If you've been following this series, then you'll know that sometimes things posted on Nichan do turn out to be terrifyingly real, but more often than not, they're fake, and the work of people trying to stir others up. People naturally assumed that the first school bus post in 2001 was fake. It just didn't make a lot of sense, and while they enjoyed it, few believed it was real. After this second post in 2003, however, people started to wonder. Was it an elaborate deception, or could there possibly be some truth to the original story? And this is where things get interesting. As it turns out, there was a very real bus accident in Kanagawa Prefecture on February 3rd, 2001. This was roughly two weeks before the original Nichan post, so timeline-wise, it fits. If the poster was really found unconscious, taken to the hospital, and then spent some time doing his own research before posting on Nichan, two weeks is an appropriate timeline for all of this to happen. The bus was seen stopped at the Shonan High School bus stop at 8.45 that morning. Numerous police cars were also nearby, with warning signs up stating there had been an accident. The bus was empty at the time, and the sign said Kaiso, meaning that it wasn't in service at the time, and it was on the move to another location before picking up passengers. It's unclear exactly what happened here. Photos of the bus show that it looked rather normal, and certainly not like it had been in a large accident. But the fact remained that there had been a bus accident, however small, and it was seen near the Shonan High School bus stop in Kanagawa. The original post was made by a high school student on his way to school. Was this the very same bus mentioned in the story, or just a strange coincidence? 
At this point, there are still too many unknown factors. This particular bus was involved in an accident. Yes, but the incident never made the news. The original post mentioned that everyone else in the bus died, and the follow-up said that the original poster was found unconscious on the side of the road, taken to the hospital, and then he tried asking about his accident, but could find no information about it. There are still too many inconsistencies. If everyone else on board died, why did no one report on it? How was he the only one to survive? Why did nobody else know about the accident when he tried asking them? Why did nobody report on it, even in the local papers? The most logical explanation for this is because the accident was too small to report on. The bus looked perfectly fine, meaning it's possible it ran into a pole or something while moving to its next location with no passengers on board. This would be an accident requiring the police to come out because it's still a public bus hitting public property, but with no real damage or victims, would be too small for news agencies to care about reporting. We only know about it because normal people passing by took pictures and then posted it on the internet. Another possibility, and this wouldn't be the first time on Nichan, nor certainly the last, is that the original poster saw or heard about this tiny bus accident and decided to use it as inspiration for their post. This has been done numerous times over Nichan's history and it's a favoured method for creepypasta writers. Way back in 2001, before this sort of thing became common, people would have been more likely to believe the story as is, rather than wondering if it had been merely inspired by real life events. Another interesting wrench was thrown into the conversation in 2011, when someone created a thread on Nichan titled, about the 2001 Shonan High School bus accident. This person claimed that, yes, the bus accident people had heard of was very real, but it wasn't this big accident that people seemed to think it was. According to them, the bus had a minor collision, but one of the students on the bus at the time hit their head and was knocked unconscious. They were apparently taken to the hospital and then the student never showed up to school again. It should be noted that this thread was created on April 1st, April Fools. This holiday is also widely celebrated in Japan, especially on a place like Nichan. So whether there's any truth to this or if it was just someone hoping to stir the hornet's nest with an old story is unknown. If true, it would connect a lot of missing dots. A small accident that didn't make the news, but also saw one student knocked unconscious and taken to the hospital. That particular event still seems newsworthy, but if it was just one student, it's possible that nobody thought it was worth reporting. In 2010, another post claimed that the tunnel mentioned in the story had to be Oba Tunnel in Kanagawa, and using the few directions given in the story and assuming that the bus was heading towards Shonan High School bus stop, Oba Tunnel matched the story's directions perfectly. It should be noted that Oba Tunnel is a well-known local ghost spot, so again, it's possible that this was done deliberately, so anyone who dug into the story, like Nichan users often do, would discover this and it would add a little more authenticity to the tale. Both school bus and gentlemen on the school bus were posted on the occult boards, after all. So, were these two stories posted on the occult boards actually true? It seems unlikely, but it's hard to deny that whoever posted them didn't do their homework beforehand. A real bus accident did take place in Kanagawa two weeks before the first post went up. It was so small that the only evidence that it ever even happened is from pictures and reports passers-by posted on the internet. The directions given in the story also line up with a famous local ghost spot, Oba Tunnel, 
which appears to be the tunnel the original poster is hinting at passing through, before everything went weird. But did the original poster wait two years to post a follow-up in an attempt to authenticate their original story? It's of course possible, no doubt, but it's also a long time to wait. Perhaps it was someone else entirely jumping on the bandwagon. And what of the post in 2011, claiming that the bus accident was indeed real, but that only one person on board, a high school boy, was hurt? Was that the same person again, or yet another person joining in the fun? This seemingly innocuous and incredibly confusing post from 2001 still lives on today with people trying to uncover the truth behind it. Was it real? Was it fake? Was it based on real incidents, but exaggerated to create a good story? Ultimately, it's impossible to tell one way or the other. It's likely nothing more than a well-researched story by a local that they either continued themselves over the years or saw other people jump in and expand to create a story even bigger than they imagined. But we also can't say with 100% certainty that there wasn't an accident that saw a high school boy end up unconscious and taken to the hospital, especially if he was the only one to hit his head in an otherwise minor accident. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.